Welcome back guys to the channel. This is Heather Hope. I wanted to, in today's video, read a part of a chapter out of the Dynamic Laws of Prosperity by Dr. Catherine Ponder. I have shared um, some stuff from her in the past and I came across, I've been reading this book over the last few weeks, but I came across this one chapter, um, The Prosperity Law of Command. And I find this to be really important, so I want to share this with you. And I might split this up into two parts, just so it's not a super long video in one sitting, because there's so there's so much goodness on every page. So <laughs> let me get started. Okay, this is chapter six out of the Dynamic Laws of Prosperity, the Prosperity Law of Command. Shakespeare wrote, "There is a tide in the affairs." of men which taken at the flood leads on to fortune it is through the law of command that you release this flood tide of good which has been built up through your list making and mental images the prosperity law of command is your key to to dominion the word command means to have authority or control through an attitude of authority you can take control of the good which you wish to experience in life. Many people look up at life as though it were a mountain towering over their insignificance. The law of command helps you to move up to the summit and look out over your world with a feeling of authority and control which then produces like results. The secret of the law of command is this. A positive assertion of the good you wish to experience is often all that is needed to turn the tide of events to, pro to produce good for you swiftly and easily. It's amazing how fast doors open to us when we dare to take control of a situation and command our high expectations to manifest themselves. But there is nothing new about the law of command. In Genesis, we were told that Jehovah created the earth by commanding, let there be, and there was, Genesis 1. Actually, the law of command is one of the easiest to use. After having made lists of your desires, and after having mentally imaged them as fulfilled, it is then time to release the substance of them into words of decree and command, which can move the ethers into action. What you decree you get, as the Bible promises, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and light shall shine upon thy ways. Job twenty two twenty eight. You command through words. You are now using the law of command because you are constantly making decrees, though often they are the wrong kind of decrees, producing what you do not desire. A businessman recently told me of an, of an acquaintance who had been having trouble with his right arm. Doctors examined it and said there was nothing organically wrong with it. Finally, this man, who knew the power of words, realized that he had been exclaiming, I'd give my right arm if I could, blank. He stopped using this expression, and his arm got well. It was Isaiah who warned us, Woe unto them! that decree unrighteous decrees Isaiah 10 1 our woes can often be traced to our thoughtless remarks it's powerful guys watch for your the things that you that you say even if it's a joke because there is no there is no sense of humor words are words pretty much. So once I prayed with a woman who was having trouble with her feet and legs, her need for healing seemed acute. Her ph physician told her that he had done everything possible for her. After we began praying, her condition improved, but a complete healing did not seem to come. One day at our prayer time, I said to her, now just ask, Father, what is the truth about this situation? What do I need to do to be healed completely? And she said, in a little while, oh, I'm sorry, and she did. In a little while, she quietly said, I have the answer. I recently went into a new business venture, and I have not yet made success of it. I have been foolishly, say, foolishly saying, if only I could get on my feet financially. I was on my feet physically when I began making the statement, but soon my feet began giving me trouble. 
My subconscious mind must have taken my words seriously and got me off my feet, which is what I was decreeing through my idle words. She then declared, I'm going to change that statement and declare that I am financially secure, that I am on my feet financially. Soon she was, both physically and financially. Your words are power, guys. I know of a woman who is quite deaf in one ear. She constantly declares concerning anything she does not wish to hear about. I'm going to turn a deaf ear to that. Students of the mind have always been taught the power of words. The spiritual leaders of Egypt, India, Persia, China, and Tibet all taught their students to speak only when they had something constructive to say. Knowing the danger of idle talk, they set up a standard they set up a standard to determine whether it was wise to say a thing. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it needful? Even if it is true, if it is not kind, then surely it is not needful. From counseling hundreds of people with financial problems, I have found that 99 times out of the 100, they do not solve their problems until they not only know, but fully use the law of command. When they begin daily, consciously and deliberately to assert the good they want, their commands seem to call it forth. Affirmations are a form of command. In modern times, we hear about affirmations, which are a form of command. Many are proving that the daily practice of verbal and silent affirmation is the simplest way of invoking the law of command to create good. In fact, the use of affirmations is such a simple way of bringing forth rich results that many people mistrust it, looking for a more complicated path to prosperity. The word affirm means to make firm. Through verbally affirming or declaring the good you want, rather than continuing to talk about what you don't want, you begin to make firm in the mind and in the invisible ethers the good you desire. As you continue to affirm the desired good, it rushes forth as a visible result. You make your world with words. Never under, underestimate the power of words. You make your world with your words, as did Jehovah in the beginning. But if you do not like the world you have previously made with your words of discord, lack, limitation, and hard times, you can begin building a new world of limitless good and prosperity by changing your words of command and decree. The people in the prosperity classes found the law of command one of the easiest and fastest to produce rich results for them. They took aff affirmative statements that met their needs and declared them over and over verbally for at least 15 minutes or perhaps for five minutes three times a day. If they were not in circumstances that gave them the privacy to speak aloud the statements, then they would write them out dozens of times. One of the statements of command they used often was, I love the highest and best in all people. I now draw to myself the highest and best people, customers, clients, patients, etc. A salesman discovered that by using this statement, he attracted into his department only people who really intended to buy his merchandise. Daily, consistent use of this commanding statement also helped him to make a number of sales that he previously thought he had lost. In another instance, a sales lady used this statement for 15 minutes each day for several weeks with such success that she became the leading salesperson in the entire store. She was honored by her employers for having sold $44,000 worth of merchandise within a short period. Only three other salespeople, all men, sold $30,000 worth of merchandise during the same period. This lady's department included mostly lower priced merchandise, which required that she made that she make many more sales by comparison with the other com department sales. Another statement of command that people in my prosperity classes found especially powerful was everything and everybody prospers me now. And I prosper everything and everybody now. By the daily consistent verbal use of the statement, a government employee soon was informed of an inheritance that had been available but unclaimed for several years. Another student who used a statement of command became one of 11 heirs to inherit a gravel pit, 
Because of the number of heirs, the amount to be realized from this inheritance was predicted to be quite small. But as this person continued to daily declare, everything and everybody prospers me now, and I prosper everything and everybody now. The income checks received from this gravel pit began arriving monthly in substantial amounts. During the winter months when the gravel business was supposed to slump, the student received the largest checks of all. You're powerful. <laughs> your, uh, command your good to appear. There are hundreds of affirmative statements you can use that will command good to appear, but definite declarations of command should be used to meet definite needs. You should not hesitate to use them. For instance, if your money supply is low or if your purse seems empty, take it in your hands and declare aloud a number of times, in privacy of course, I bless you and bless you for the riches of God that are now being demonstrated in and through you. As you enjoy your meals, it is good to think statements of blessing and appreciation for them, along with the old-fashioned habit of table blessing. When you dress, it is good to think thoughts of appreciation and blessing for your clothing. Once in a lecture, I gave the following statements for definite uses and was amazed at how many business people commented on them afterwards and asked for their exact wording. For the perfect clothes and wardrobe, which every prosperous thinker should have, I gave, should have, I give thanks that I am beautifully and appropriately clothed with the rich substance of God. For the perfect, beautiful, comfortable home, whether it be one room, an apartment, or a house, I give thanks that I am beautifully and appropriately housed with the rich substance of God. And for the perfect transportation, which every prosperous thinker should have, I give thanks that I am beautifully and appropriately transported with the rich substance of God. The ladies especially like this statement of command. I give thanks for ever-increasing health, youth, and beauty. I suppose I might be considered an extremist on the subject of affirmative statements because I have them scotch-taped in various spots in my home. Some of the neighborhood children have been so fascinated with them that they drop by occasionally just to see if I have changed the statements and to ask for copies. The above statement, of, the above statement about clothes is attached to my closet door. The one on health, youth, and beauty is taped to my mirror. The one I keep taped on the pantry door is, I rejoice, I rejoice in the bounty of God, constantly manifesting an overflowing supply here and now. To keep down unnecessary telephone calls, which can be such a waste of time, near my telephone is the declaration of command. Divine order is now established and maintained harmony rate and maintain harmony reigns supreme. It is good to begin the day with affirmative statements which help you to gain control of your day. I suggest this one. With praise and thanksgiving, I set the riches of God before me this day to guide, govern, protect, and prosper me. All things need needful are now provided. My rich good becomes visible this day. So that, so that you will speak words of prosperity and success each day, which is a form of commanding it to come forth, I suggest this affirmation. My words are charged with prospering power. Other favorite statements of command in some of my prosperity classes have been, for increased income, I give thanks that my financial income now increases mightily through the direct action of God's rich good. For the payment of bills, indebtedness, and financial obligations, I give thanks for the immediate complete payment of all financial obligations in God's own wonderful way. For increased success along all lines, I give thanks that every day in every way I am growing richer and richer. A statement of command that the business people found helpful for harmony in their homes and businesses was this. Let there be peace within my walls and prosperity within my palaces. That's Psalms 122.7.
Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for this recording. Come back. I'm going to post the next one on Friday so we can continue this chapter. But just in in closing, I just want to remind you that you are so very powerful, that you are the God of your reality. You are the only creator. You're the only one with free will in your reality to create what you want. So just remember that your words are powerful and that affirmations are powerful. Words are powerful. What you command will come to you. Just keep your mental diet really, really on point. So until then, I will, I will see you on the next video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.